up and what's good everybody right now i'm out here in decatur ga at the stonecrest mall which you may be able to see behind me and i'm at the site of an abandoned sears auto center you may recognize this design from the arbor place sears auto center and the other auto centers that sears operated um but yeah with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and check this place out really quickly I'm not sure when this Sears store closed. I'm not sure when the auto center closed. Uh, it looks like at one point in time they did paper up all these windows, but uh, you'll see what I mean when I say that literally all the paper has fallen off, like this plate. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it must have gotten that way from being closed so long. But, yep, abandoned Sears auto center. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. Here we go. Typical look for Sears Auto Center. And this is definitely evident of a Sears right here. You can see it says Auto Center Hours. And then the hours are gone, but the rest of the sign is in perfect shape. And then we had some advertisements up here on there. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be for. But wide open. That would have been your main register, I'm guessing. And then you ha would have had like maybe a telephone over to the left. That tile, that typical bathroom tile floor. And then, yeah, it's not coming open. I don't know why I thought that it would. This place looks like it's in some rough shape. Oh, uh, yeah, you can... I'm not sure. The, the glare is very, very strong, but... Maybe you can just get a look of that and see at the, look at that, bunch of moldy paper and ceiling tiles, all of it's fallen down, and it's in some bad shape, definitely seen better days. Yeah, it's just wide open. Here, I'll go ahead and go this way around it, go to the right, come back around the left. Your early bird drop-off mailbox. And as you can see right here. I know the door's locked, yeah. Wouldn't budge. And wide open. Now this is more like it. No paper up, no boards, nothing blocking our view. And we can just see wide open into what used to be the Sears Auto Center. And I say that because usually they paper up all these windows. And it looks like that's what happened with this one, but the fact that it sat here so long, it just looks like all the paper and what they may have used to cover up the, the windows and things has all just fallen down. So it's like, eh, you know. <laughs> and, and I thought that maybe the mall would have wanted to do something about that, but evidently not. Maybe they're not doing anything about it because they know it's about to get repurposed. Um, to my understanding, the Sears is supposed to get repurposed as well as the Coles building, but as for this auto center, I'm not sure what's supposed to happen with it. Pretty much the same thing all along. I'll go ahead and look in these last few windows here for these garage doors. Just because I want to give you a thorough look, but there isn't really much to see. It's all empty and gutted in there. Nothing pretty, nothing for you to see pretty much. There's a sink in there. <laughs> right in the middle of your screen, check that out. That's weird. Alright. Bunch of leaves as well. Well, when it focuses, there we go. Bunch of leaves. Wow. But, yep, this one's gutted out. Go ahead and switch the lens there so that we can continue our look here. I imagine that all these doors are going to be locked, but just curiosity factor. And there you go. You can see all the way down each and every one of those doors that I just looked in. <laughs> but it's all good. Like I said, I'm out here at the Stonecrest Mall. There, There's the sign, the mall at Stonecrest. This looks like somebody tried to break in. Not coming open though. 
very, very tough to see in there. It doesn't want to really focus. Yeah, very hard to see. I'll go ahead and take a quick look into this garbage and trash area here. Looks like it's fulfilling its purpose well. And we can just take a quick look. Obviously, it's locked up. They don't want people in here. So I'll just take a quick peek through the little, if I can even get a good shot of it. Here, I'll go ahead and give you guys a look on the ground. Pretty much nothing in there. Graffiti. You know, the, the need as to why that's necessary is <laughs> All right. Go ahead and not show that. Oh, take a look at the clouds, guys. Take a look at the clouds. Beautiful day, gorgeous. Awesome, spectacular afternoon. <laughs> Bullet holes, that's great. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There's a look on the inside. And then here would have been the label scar for Sears Auto Center, right up here. Now, why there's a random vehicle back there? beyond me because you'd have to most definitely deliberately want to enter into the auto center to get right there it's not like a pass through or anything weird then again I am the person that's toting a phone around looking in <laughs> looking in windows and garbage areas and stuff <laughs> but and I just like to do this it's interesting to see the differences among all these places because remember, I mean, in a way, these places tell a story. Scarred of everything that used to be on the walls, the label, the labels and the signage is all gone. At least at this particular one. Everything's gone, but go back maybe five years ago for this store and all of this would have been open. Those awesome Sears, doors handle, Sears door handles there. And here... I'm not sure if you guys can get too good of a look. Nope. But there's a still overlook of the Stonecrest Mall, and you may see the main Sears building right in the middle of your screen there. But yep, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me at this abandoned Sears Auto Center right there. Hope you guys did enjoy this video uh, for what it is. I mean, I just wanted to go ahead and check this place out. It's a Sears Auto Center. It's abandoned. I just wanted to point it out because I haven't been to this mall. This is the first time I've ever been to this mall. I know that the Sears was abandoned, but I didn't know the Auto Center was here, so I just figured, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and check this place out as well. So I hope you did enjoy that. But anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for choosing Z-Man. And until I see you guys next time, make the best of your every moment. Sorry about that. Make the best of your every moment. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.